tools and all our delegates. Once again, welcome to you all from the side of Scabro Club Procra and from my personal side also. Today we are here to gather for our program World Youth Parliament. And for this year, for 2021, we have the theme Transforming Food Systems Youth Innovation for Human and Planetary Health. So in this theme, our delegates, they will present their presentation representing different countries here. First of all, may I call your name and they represent countries. So I will tell your name also in the alphabetical order. First, there will be Aditya Thapa, delegate from India, and he has the mentor, Bola Choudhury, from India. Second, Akrisa Thapa, she is the delegate from Japan, and she has the mentor, Yoshi Kaju, okay, Matsumoto. Oh, I'm sorry if I pronounce the name in the wrong way. Third one, Avilek Shrestha, he is the delegate from Bangladesh. He has the mentor, MD Saha Sahaniyoz. Adit Dhimal, he is the delegate from Pakistan. He has the mentor, Nafisa Mustafa. Akarsa Achare, he is the delegate from Vietnam. He has the mentor, New Nikyu Ed Nguyen. Onsu Saru, she is the delegate from Armenia, and she has the mentor, Gaeni Opechia Aurel, she is the delegate from Brazil. And she has the mentor, Bilma. Babu Pariyar, he is the delegate from Philippines, and he has the mentor, Carla May M. Masculino. Nista Batrai, she is the delegate from Taiwan, and her mentor is Amy Chang. Rochak Sapkota, he is the delegate from Bangladesh, and his mentor is Babdul Alam. Rosie Gimire, she has the mentor, Jackson Dukpa from Bhutan, and she is the delegate of Bhutan. Rosani Basanet Chaudhry, she is the delegate from Philippines, and she has the foreign Major Christine John Barredo, Sombridi Audial, she is the delegate from Bangladesh, and she has the mentor, Monira. Sansar Chetri, he is the delegate from Italy, and uh, his mentor is Maripia BNG. Sarthag Subedi, he is the delegate from Romania, and uh, he has the mentor, Corina Suzeda, Suzdia. Saugat Gautam, he is the delegate from Russia, and his mentor is Alan Ranu. Sirjan Nure, he is the delegate from Philippines, and his mentor is Dai Galgana. Supriya Bujel, she is from Italy, and her mentor is Christiana Piveta. Sueta Dungana, she is the delegate from Malaysia, and her mentor is Lee So Im. Sueta Amate, she is the delegate from India, and her mentor is Dr. Baisali Tripathi from India. Best wishes for all our delegates. Now I'm going to announce the rules for our delegates. 
you will get only five minutes time. Your name I will call in alphabetical order. I'm to judge or to assess you. We have the different criteria. One jury member has 50 marks. So for presentation, you will get 20 marks. Research, 20 in language style that you will get 10. So one jury member has uh, 50 marks. We have the three jury members from different countries, right? As uh, we have, as our chair introduced, Georgia, Monica from Greece, Gloria, Mariana, and uh, Hyum Kim, we have the three guests, right? Welcome to them once again from my side and from SAP side also. And uh, so this is all about now. Uh, I want to move for peace, please. I'm to take your mic and so on. I think uh, Unasar have done already. You are familiar with your mic and video and so on. So I want to request to all our delegates to uh, please uh, do your mic on and uh, video also on. Then uh, I will proceed for peace place and uh, you have to follow to me. You have to repeat to me, please. All the please delegates, you have to open your mic, please. Unmute your mic. I do your video also on the other line. We have to see as right. We have the rule, right? You have to show your face properly, please. I keep silent your base. I, I hope you will around Thank in you. peace. Okay, you will follow me and start time. You will. Follow to me, okay, for all delegates. Please maintain silence near you, please. We want same from you. Okay, so please, you can see the word you also. If there is some problem with the audio and you have to repeat to me, and start okay, please, all of you. I please. I I play. I play. To use. To use. To use. To use. My words. My words. My words. Do you speak? Do you speak? Do you speak? Enough. 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 And wait. And wait. I play. I please. I please. To hear. To hear. Or our earth. With my. With my. Healing heart. Healing heart. And hands. And hands. I place you. I place you. Respect people. In each and every land. In each and every land. I place to join. I join. Together. Together. We unite. And unite. The big and small. The big and small. I place to do. I place to do. My part. My part. My part. My part. To create peace. To create peace. For one and all. For one and all. Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry, well. Now please manage your mic over there. You will open on your turn. Video you can keep open. It's okay. Now, once again, best twist for our all delegates. Now, I will forward for our program. May I move? Yes, sir. Is it all right? 
Yeah, yeah, please. Please do research. Okay, sir, please. So now, uh, all our jury also, they are ready there. We hope so. Okay, now without delay, I will start our program. I know our first delegate is Mr. Aditya Tapa, and he is the delegate from India. Aditya, uh, now this time is yours. Durma sir, Durma okay, sir, Durma sir, may yes, sir, I please. stop you? Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, I think I had displayed you the uh, time for uh, some special uh, opening remarks from our chief guest. Oh. Sorry, sir, please. Sorry, uh, sorry for it. So for opening remarks, may I request our chief guest, uh, Mr. Anil, Anil Kumar, Kumar Sai, he, uh, assistant CTO of ASCII. Anil, sir, please. Dhanyavad. Sunnu Vacha. Azur, sir, Azur. Well, Abura, I'm a Chema Chansu. Today, I'm a international language. I'm a Sambad Garnasakina. I'm a Nepali Bhasa. I'm a Afno Kura. I'm a Rahnesu. I'm a opening Garnesu. Sir, first of all, I'm a Ramro Karikam. I'm a Garikam. I'm a Skyball Club. Pohra. I'm a Harbi. Thank you. 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 पछि फेरि आउनु पर्छ कि बोलम अलिकति मेरो अनुरोध तपाईलाई केही छ अ हुन्छ हुन्छ अनिल सर अलिकति एक दुई शब्द अरु पनि राख्दा हुन्छ हामी अन्तिममा हजुर हजुर ल धन्यवाद हुन्छ तपाईहरुलाई यो आफ्नो साथीहरुलाई कम्युनिकेट गर्दिनु हुन हार्दिक अनुरोध गर्दछु पहिलो यति मिठो कार्यक्रम र युवाहरुलाई एनर्जाइज गर्ने यो कार्यक्रम सञ्चालन गर्नु भएकोमा यी सँग सम्बन्धित सबैलाई हार्दिक आभार र धन्यवाद ज्ञापन गर्दछु साच्चै नै अब हाम्रा युवा भाइ बहिनीहरुले सकारात्मक सोचका साथ अघि बढ्दै गयो भने यो हाम्रो मानवीय स्तर र आमूल पृथ्वीको स्तर जीवन विकासको क्रमलाई सकारात्मक रूपले अगाडि बढाउन सक्छ भन्ने कुरा मैले विश्वास लिएको छु तपाईहरुको यो कार्यक्रमले सबै भाइ सहभागी सबै प्रतियोगी भाइ बहिनीहरुलाई उत्साह र उमङ्ग प्रदान गर्ने छ जजहरुले आफ्नो हिसाबले मूल्यांकन गर्नु हुने छ ती मूल्यांकन मूल्यांकनका आधारहरु होलान तर मलाई यस्तो लाग्छ जो जो आज सहभागी हुँदै हुनुहुन्छ सबै अब्बल हुनुहुन्छ भन्ने मलाई विश्वास छ तपाई सबैले अब्बलता हासिल गर्नु भएको छ बाध्यता त्यही हो यदि घोडा हुन्छ भने 1 2 3 4 हुन पर्छ होला त्यो चाहिँ एउटा सिस्टमको बाध्यता हो भन्ने मेरो प्यारो भाइ बहिनीहरुलाई जो आज सहभागी हुने हुनुहुन्छ उहाँहरुलाई त्यो अनुरोध गर्न चाहन्छु र विदेशबाट जति पनि सहभागी हुँदै हुनुहुन्छ सबैलाई यो सुन्दर देश नेपालमा यही रूपमा भए पनि तपाईहरुलाई हार्दिक स्वागत गर्न चाहन्छु र तपाईहरुको यो कार्यक्रममा म त्यही रूपमा सहभागी हुन चाहन्थे तपाईले बुझ्ने भाषामा संवाद गर्न चाहन्थे तर तपाईलाई झन् असहज हुन्छ भन्ने लागेर मैले आफ्नो भाषामा संवाद गरिरहेको छु मेरा पिने आदरणीय सरहरुले आजका कार्यक्रमका अध्यक्ष जी हाम्रो केशव सर लगायत दुर्ग थापा लगायत सबै सरहरुले त्यसलाई संवाद गर्दिनु हुनेछ भन्ने कुनै अर्को माध्यमबाट संवाद गर्दिनु हुनेछ भन्ने विश्वास लिन चाहन्छु र मलाई यति विश्वास छ कि अबको परिवर्तन हाम्रो हातमा छ हाम्रो सोचमा छ र हाम्रो आध्यात्मिक विकासमा छ त्यो आफ्नो आफ्नै आफ्नै व्यवस्था हुन छ हुन सक्छ आफ्नै आफ्नै किसिम हुन सक्छ आफ्नै आफ्नै आधार हुन सक्छ ती सबैमा सत्यता छ भन्ने मलाई विश्वास लाग्छ तै साथ हामीले पृथ्वीलाई बचाउनको लागि हाम्रो युवा भाइहरुले त्यही भाइ बहिनीहरुले त्यही रूपमा अगाडि बढ्नु हुने छ भन्ने विश्वासका साथ यो स्वर्ण अवसर दिनु भएकोमा म हाम्रो स्काइबल क्लब पोखराका सबै व्यक्तित्वहरु र आज सहभागी हुने सबै व्यक्तित्वहरुलाई हार्दिक आभार र धन्यवाद व्यक्त गर्दछु र कुनै पनि रूपमा केशव सरलाई भन्न चाहन्छु र छेवाङ भाइ हुनुहुन्छ अरु स्काइबल क्लबका जति पनि साथीहरु हुनुहुन्छ तपाईहरुको साथमा रहेर म आफ्नो ऊर्जा पनि आफ्नो सिकाई पनि बढाउने छु र तपाईहरुलाई पनि उत्साहित पार्ने छु र सबै सहभागी विदेशबाट आउनु हुने यहाँ रहनु हुने सबैलाई हार्दिक शुभकामना व्यक्त गर्दै यो कार्यक्रम 
अगाडि बढ्ने छ र म पनि समय समयमा यो कार्यक्रममा भइरहेका कुराहरुलाई हेर्ने छु भन्ने विश्वास दिलाउँदै अहिलेलाई यो कार्यक्रम शुभारम्भ भएको बेहोरा अनुरोध गर्न चाहन्छु धन्यवाद सबैलाई नमस्कार ओके धन्यवाद अनिल सर थ्याङ्क यू सो मच फर युअर रिमार्केबल वर्ड्स फर अस हु आर रियली प्लिज टु युअर वर्ड्स थ्याङ्क यू सो मच सो यस अब सर for yes, other now, guests now, we will now, join now, in between now, uh, now we have to hear from uh, nabila nabila ma'am please the sir okay special so uh, now from special guest side i want to request nabila right uh masu me if i'm not wrong sorry uh, if i'm wrong uh relo us embassy ktm as our Special guest, request to you for opening remarks, please. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, Assistant Chief District Administration Officer, Mr. Anil Kumar Shahi. An extended greeting to Mr. Bishwaraj Gautam, Mr. Sula Bhatta, Mr. Kesha Prasad Parajuli, and Mr. Tapa, as well as Mr. Baman Gimire. Good evening, colleagues, teachers, students, mentors, and staff. On behalf of the Regional English Language Office and our embassy here in Kathmandu, Nepal, I want to thank you for inviting me to speak today during this very special event, which falls on International Youth Day. We are very proud of you, 20 students, for working with dedicated mentors to strengthen your leadership skills through perseverance, innovation, collaboration, and curiosity, and for working on a compelling and timely issue, transforming food systems. Given the crisis of climate change, new ways have to be found to increase the productivity of land and water, while decreasing emissions and halting the destruction of habitat, habitats and ways of life and engaging youth is crucial in transforming systems. As future generations, you are most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change and these platforms and opportunities are extremely important so you can offer ways forward as your households, schools, businesses, bench, business ventures, communities, country, and regions. As agents of change, it's imperative that you have a deep and comprehensive understanding of your local as well as national and global policies that impact food systems in our communities, country, and the world. This is a wonderful opportunity to hone in on your, out, on your research and leadership skills, to ask important questions, and to seek answers and initiate and support local sustainable solutions that empower farmers and consumers to put climate, nature, and resilience at the core of global food economy. We're excited to hear your fresh ideas about sustainable farming, changing diets, and transforming food systems, using, te using technology to improve food systems, and access to food, and financing climate smart investments, to no name a few of the ideas. Best of luck to you. We hope that this wonderful opportunity that you've worked with your mentors to sharpen your critical thinking skills and developed an imagination for how you might turn the challenges of climate change into opportunities for rethinking food systems. We encourage you to continue collaborating as leaders to improve conditions in your communities and to prioritize social justice and sustainability as an integral part of your future studies and advocacy. As you continue your education, work to ensure fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people, regardless of race, color, national origin, gender, religion, or income. Use the research and advocacy tools that you've learned today uh, or throughout this project uh, to create, develop, implement, and enforce sustainable improvements in your communities. 
I wish you all the best of luck in your presentation and future endeavors. Looking forward to, to hearing more from you all. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Nebula. We are really pleased with your present sign remarks. Really happy, thank you so much. Once again, now without doing delay, we will proceed to hear from our delegates. Kesab sir, now can we forward more? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, the reserve, please go. Okay, so now may I request to Mr. Aditya Thaba, delegate from India, for your presentation. Best we say is Mr. Aditya Thaba. Now time Thank is yours. Thank you, sir. So could you see my slide and my is my sound clear? Yes, yes please, yes. yes. Shall I start? Okay, please. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning to you all. I'm Aditi Tapa as the mentee of Bola Chaudhariya. I'm the delegate of the second highly populated country in the world, India. On the occasion of International Youth Day, on second old youth parliament today i am going to present my presentation on the theme of transferring food system youth innovation for human and planetary health as an indian delegate let me first introduce the republic of india india is situated in south asia which is the seventh largest country by land area and the most populous democracy in the world the mahatma gandhi was the founder of india what is the food system of India? Staple grain production and consumption has driven India's food system since the success of Green Revolution. It takes our process through four steps, production, processing, distribution, and consumption. The presentation in the picture proves that the Indian food system is still the staple food. Food production. In this chart, it clearly proves that the staple food production of India is increasing according to the year. Food consumption. In this pie chart, it demonstrates the food consumption done by Indian people. Why to change the food system of India? The first reason, due to increasing population. According to Census 2019 of India, the total population is about 1.366 billion. According to Global Hunger Index 2019, more than 19 crore Indians are undernourished and more than 56 lakh Indian children ranging from 0 to 4 years are in the several wasting. The second reason is due to the COVID-19 crisis. In response to COVID-19 crisis, India has imposed one of the largest and the strictest lockdowns anywhere in the world. While the lockdown may have been effective managing the spread of COVID-19 cases, it will be devastating that India's death toll on account of hunger may increase to an unforgivable higher number. This article proves that people may are migrating from city to village due to COVID-19. This data shows the biggest causes of deaths due to crisis. Youth involvement in transferring food system. Youth are capable of adopting new concepts, ideas, technology, which are vital for increasing production. Future agriculture development will largely depend upon the contribution of youths. The contribution done by youth and government of India are, first, Maya Roadmap, motivating and attracting youth in agriculture. It offers the youth a variety of avenues and opportunities. Number two, Arya project, attracting and retaining youth in agriculture. It helps to empower and attract the youth in rural areas. Third, supporting the youth led startup initiatives and supporting policy environment. Number four, 
National policy for farmers introduced measures which can help to attract and retain youth in farming. Number five, there are some other websites provided by government of India where youths can get help with agriculture. Planetary Health and Food System of India. The Indian food system requires a major transformation to promote diets that are healthy for both the planet and the people. As an Indian delegate, this planetary health plate should be adopted by the, all the Indians and the world. Conclusion of this presentation. Number one, the main production of food is staple food. Number two, the main cause to change the food system of India are increasing population and COVID-19 crisis. Number third, youth innovation and development of food system of India by organization of projects like My Roadmap, Area Project, National Policy, Website, etc. Number fourth, planetary health should be considered while transferring the food system. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you so much, Aditya Thaba, delegate from India, for your presentation. Now, may I request to Akrisa Thaba, she is the delegate from Japan, best wishes. Ms. Akrisa mm -hmm. Thaba. Respected speaker, chief guest, guest, jury members, and mentors and delegates from different nations, a warm welcome to you all. Today, Mia Krusha Thapa is going to be presenting my views on the title Transforming Food Systems as a delegate of Japan. So without any further delays, let's get into it. First of all, as we know that food is what our life relies on, hence it is very important to have a balanced food system, a food system which will not leave any of us unnourished and will make a great utilization of food. Here are some of the facts about food system in the context of Japan. So first of all, Japan has only 3.358 percentage of the total population involved in agriculture, which is very less in number, hence the entire production cannot be done inside of the country. In result, Japan has to import its food from different countries like the US, China, Australia, and so on. Japan is a very developed country in terms of scientific and technical field, which is a great term of factor or of benefit for Japan and its food system. And there are, of course, challenges in terms of food system in Japan, too, as in other countries. And climatic conditions, they rank in the top position because climatic conditions can affect every country in terms of food system, the processing, harvesting, production, and everything gets affected by the climatic conditions. And Japan has only 12% of the arable land, which is very less than amount. And this is one of the main factors for Japan not being able to do the entire production inside of the country. Overconsumption and waste, these are the major factors of problem in Japan because the national framework there does not let the food to be distributed properly without any wastage. And unsustainability and food security. Sustainable food system is very difficult to find in Japan because the sustainability in terms of food system is sinking and the food security comes hand in hand. So food security is also not very balanced. There are different solutions because where there are challenges, there are, of course, solutions and increasing the self-sufficiency ratio can be a great solution for Japan. Building strong strategy to maintain food security because I've already mentioned that food security is in terms of sinking. And when we talk about food security, food sustainability also comes there. So Japan has to maintain its position in maintaining the sustainability of food and food security. Removing the national framework, because I've already mentioned that national framework does not let the food to be distributed without any wastage. So in order to prevent the overconsumption and wastage, we need to remove the national framework and create the distribution of food without any wastage. There are different efforts made for transforming food system in Japan, which is very impressive. And first of all, these efforts to foster economy. The economy of Japan is very developed. Japan is a very secure country in terms of economy. Japan ranks third by nominal GDP and it ranks second by per capita income. But still, Japan has been doing its best to 
foster its economy through scientific and technical fields too, because the more the economy will grow, the balance the food system will get. Genuine use of technology. Now here, Japan is very developed in terms of scientific and technical fields, but being developed in technology does not mean that there are not disadvantages of technology because technology has two aspects, positive and negative, and we should always focus on getting affected in a positive way rather than in, in a negative way. So Japan has been trying its best to use the technology in the most genuine way it can. Urban agriculture. This is now a very unique term for Japan and for all of us because agriculture in urban areas, we could not even think about it, but Japan has been wandering whole world with different scientific and technical innovations. And along with that, urban agriculture is also a very unique thing here because 25% of the farming households are urban farmers and the production cannot be done inside of the country in a large amount. So urban agriculture is contributing for the production to be done inside of the country in large amount. There are different laws made for transforming food system in Japan. The Food Control Law of 1942, Agricultural Basic Law of 1961, and New Food Law of 1995. These are some of the main laws. These were mainly focused on production, supply, distribution, and balanced use of rice because rice is the main food of Japan and food sustainability and food security was not very good. So in order to maintain the sustainability in the production, distribution and supply of rice, Japan had introduced these laws to people. And at last, I would like to thank World Youth Parliament team. I would like to thank Scribble for Pokhara for holding such a wonderful program. I would like to thank my mentor for supporting me till here and my school for providing me such a wonderful opportunity. Happy International World Youth Day. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Akrisa, for your presentation. Thank you so much. Now, may I request to Avilek Shrestha, and he's the delegate from Bangladesh. Best you say, now time is yours. Mr. Avilek yes, Shrestha, please. So, is my screen sharing? Okay, till now it is not serious. Maybe it is going on. So, we maybe so. Please wait a minute. Okay, okay, please. So there is no option for the sharing. Maybe there is share option. I will let there have present now. Present. You can just start the present. So, like, I can't really share the screen. Like, uh, if uh, if I press on the share, it doesn't share. You need to touch. You need to touch. Just present, present. Just see a present, present now. So I did that, but it doesn't share. So, Purna, can I help a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Georgia. I, I'll be like, uh, are you on a computer? Okay. Can you see on the bottom of your screen, there is a microphone and the camera and the little hand. And next to it, on the fourth, let's say, circular thing, there is a, a square button. Can you see that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I actually know how to share the screen, but there is no share option. Like, if I even uh, share this, but it doesn't share. So maybe you have a problem with your own joining in. Maybe you should leave the room oh. and come back. I'm not sure. Porna? Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Avilek, uh, did you choose your window? And then share button will active. Okay, Professor, you can you can uh, go to next speaker, uh, and uh, yeah, he, I will you can join later. Professor, okay, call the next one. Okay, sir, please. I will like, please. You will try over there. Now, may I move to ours, Mr. Adit Dimal, 
is the delegate from Pakistan. Adit Dimal, now please turn is yours. Adit Dimal. Adit, are you there? Mr. Yes, Adit sir. Dimal. Okay, please, yes, please. Please, now turn is yours. Best wishes. Sorry for delay. I think. Okay. Are you ready, Adit? Hello and welcome everyone, respected chair, panel members, honorable speakers, and my distinguished delegates. Hello, it's me, Adi Dimal, representing the glorious country of the world, none other than Pakistan, with a given theme to us is transformation of food system, youth innovation for humans and planet. Today, on the occasion of World Youth Day 2021, our Scrabble Club Pokhara has successfully organized the World Youth Parliament and especially giving thanks to the Scrabble Club Pokhara, I would like to proceed to my presentation with some of the interesting facts related to the Pakistan. Pakistan has the seventh largest standing army in the world. Pakistan houses the second largest mountain that is K2. Pakistan holds the world's best intelligence service called the Inter-Service Intelligence. Pakistan has the world's largest irrigation system. That's not a joke, my dear friends. Excuse me, excuse me, Adit, Adit, sorry to interrupt you. You are not uh, sharing your slide. You just share your slide and click on the next slide. It's not moving, I think. Can you click on that slide set? OK, huh? sorry. Isn't it here, sir? Uh, the slide which I moved. Yeah, yeah. Now you are you are not there. Uh, Purna, sir, can you help? Uh, what's the problem? He had said, but his slides were not moving. No, this he was just talked in the first slide. Okay, Adit, please. Can you go from first again and? Uh... How did you try the sharing entire screen, not the tab? Okay. And click on the slides here. Okay, sir. Wait just a second. I think yes, uh, he still has a problem in sharing. Now is it shared, sir? Okay, it, it looks better now. Yes. Now is now, my voice clear or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can go. Over to you. Okay. Hello and welcome everyone. Respected chairs, panel members, honorable speakers, and my distinguished delegates. Hello, it's me, Adi Dimal, presenting in front of you the glorious country of the world, none other than the Pakistan. The given theme to us is transformation of food system, youth innovation for human and planetary health. Really appreciate, appreciable program has been initiated by our Scrabble Club Pokhara on the occasion of World Youth Day 2021. Now, now I would like to proceed to my interesting facts related to some of the interesting facts related to the Pakistan. Pakistan has the seventh largest standing army force in the world. 
Pakistan really houses the second largest mountain that is K2. Pakistan holds the world's best intelligence service agency called Inter-Service Intelligence. Pakistan has the world's largest irrigation system. Pakistan has the world's second biggest salt mine at Kheora, which also work as the economic perspective of the Pakistan. As we know that agriculture, we know that agriculture country have some production of different kinds of agricultural materials. Pakistan is also an agricultural country. Some food crops and cash crops are exported and every production that is done in all the production is done in the large scale, which helps for the maximization of profit. There are some of the roles played by the government of Pakistan for resolving the planetary health and the roles are discussed below. There was the Green Revolution, which was introduced in the year 1960 by the President Ayub Khan, which had the objective to produce the food crops and maximize the production with introduction of artificial fertilizers, modern irrigation methods, and high yielding varieties of seeds. This has also mainly focused on, on, on the production of the Pakistan. There was the present efforts made by the present government. There were four. There were four efforts, and we are going to discuss on them. First effort it was made the increasing the production of fertilizers. As we know that when we increase the production of fertilizers, the production of foods, the production of materials are also increased, distributing high quality inputs throughout the country. This also helped to improve the quality of the production. Developing a plant protection program also helped for the planetary health and providing financial support to the farming community gives them financial support and helps them to give continuity to their profession. But what can the youth do? We are talking about the youth parliament and we don't know what, the, what can the youth do. Now we are going to discuss some of the matters. What can the youth do? They can link social media to agriculture. As we know, almost every youngster uses social media today. Hence, the increased link of social media to agriculture can help in promoting agriculture to young minds. We can improve the agricultural image. People, especially youngsters, see agriculture as an outdated, boring, and hard job to do. Improving the image of the agriculture would encourage people to indulge in it, keeping in mind its benefit. Strengthen higher education in agriculture. We know that in a modern society like ours, people tend to take it interest in higher education. Therefore, the improving of history of agriculture would enable people to know more about it. Now, next we have is the greater use of information and communication technology. We, we know that we can greatly benefit ourselves by the use of ICT. It can increase the widespread of the education online for people who find it difficult to, to join institutes for higher education. We can put agriculture on the school curricula. The younger the minds, the more enthusiastic and keen they are to learn. Teaching agriculture to young school going children would help them to choose this field as a career in their future. Let me share uh, my ideas regarding it. When I was young, I also used to do some drawings, right? And when I grew up, uh, it was like my hobby. And I think I think that it is my like career. So putting agriculture on the school curricula also can be a great way for promoting agriculture and food system. Thank you for your time and effort, everyone. A special credit goes to Ms. Ms. Nafisa Mustafa. She helped me a lot and Scrabble Club Pokhara organizing a great program and gave me this huge opportunity today. Thank you. Wishing everybody World Youth Day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Okay. Th thank you so much, Mr. Adit, for your presentation as a delegate from Pakistan. Now, may I Proceed to Mr. Akarsa Atharve, and he's the delegate from Vietnam. Now, Mr. Okay, Akarsa Atharve, please. Okay, sir. Sir, I'm joining from laptop, so from uh, when laptop 
From laptop, when it is joined, I will present. Okay, sir. It is joining, sir. From laptop. Okay, okay, okay. Please do fast. Okay, so then you will do review here. May I go to next sir, time? Please. I think it has come. Okay, sir, I will send. Okay, then please. It is connecting, sir, from that. So please uh, request to all the delegates, please uh, manage your things and be ready for your turn. Okay, please, so we can save our time. Our time is very important to all of us. So please uh, request to all our delegates, please manage your things properly on time. So now please, I will present, okay, sir. Please, 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 please do fast. If you take time, I'll go to okay, next. Otherwise, please do fast, okay. Sir. Sorry, is my screen share is coming? No place, but uh, because of two devices, there is echo on your sound. It is better to off one device. Akatsa, can you hold him down of your mobile? Okay, sir. Sir, is this screen coming? No, please, no. It is not CRT now. Sir, is this Okay, sir. Sir, you don't give me permission to share. It said. There is that permission for all, okay? Because your friend, he had already okay, so uh, Go to click just to present now. Okay, sir. One, two, three, four, fifth, fifth icon downside, bottom. Sorry, bottom of your the screen. Sorry, it is present now. Sir, is this no? No, please, no. Till now, it is not seen. Uh, it is not seen, sir. Screen share. Sorry, screen share isn't coming. Okay, okay, so please. Uh, Excuse me. Please, you are right. Keep on doing it. Please, you try there. Okay. Avilek, are you ready there? Yes, sir. I'm ready to share. Okay, please. Then uh, you can share. And uh, Akarsa, please. You, okay, please. Avilek, please. Now, uh, it's on. Sir, I'm delegate. Okay, you don't have one, sir. Akarsa, please. Now, please. Uh, Wait uh, for your turn for some time, okay, please. You have to see there. Wait for some time, please. Okay. Sir, am I audible? Please, yes, yes, yes. Now go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes. sir, is my uh, so so shall I start? Yes, please, yes. yes now, please. Namaskar and good afternoon, everyone. The respected chairperson, panel members, honorable speakers, and distinguished delegates. I am very happy to take part in this program. I represent myself, Oblek Shrestha, my mediator, MD Sahar Rojas from Bangladesh, and I'm going to represent on the behalf of Bangladesh discussing about the food system there. Bangladesh is a small lost country in South Asia located on the Bay of Bengal. It is, it is the home to the world's largest slave river, Delta. The capital of the Bangladesh is Dhaka, and the, its area is 1,48,460 km per square. The population of this Bangladesh is 163 million years 
million uh, by the 2019 population census. The president of the Bangladesh is Abdul Hamid and his currency is Taka. The official language spoken by the Bangladesh people is Bengali. So the Bengali, so the Bangladesh was formed after the British left the India, they separated India into two countries. The modern Pakistan was called West Pakistan and the Bangladesh was called East Pakistan. Bangladesh sought independence from Pakistan. The Bangladesh uh, people of East Pakistan wanted their own independence of Bangladesh and sought to disconnect it from Pakistan. The Pakistan, uh, uh, the Pakistan, the Pakistani armed forces uh, re related and the, an armed conflict was followed. And at that time, the more than three million people were killed. So that's why the people of Bangladesh never waste the food and they think the food as a god and they never waste the food. So the food system in Bangladesh. In 24, 1947, the feminine taught a good lesson for Bangladesh people which lead to sustainable, sustained progress. The government of the Bangladesh also developed a food chain system. Like there is an organization in Bangladesh in which the, uh, the people uh, in that organization deliver food for one taka to the hungry kids, which is absolutely a great thing because the kids are the future of the uh, future of the nation and humanity. And if we if we give food free to those those kids, then they won't even uh, they then they will have a low self esteem and they won't have the value of money and food. That's why the one taka campaign for, uh, campaign is pretty admirable, and they have started Ayurvedic and healthy lifestyle. So uh, Bangladesh, uh, one of the most famous Bangladeshi food is ice mache paturi. It uh, ice means hilas and mache means it's about the fish and the paturi means wrapped in a leaf. It is the national food of Bang of the Bangladesh. Its ingredients is hilas, fish, mustard, sake, ma coconut oil, uh, coke, and green chili. Yeah, it is a time consuming, but it tastes is delicious. So it's very high demand in Bangladesh. The upper picture you can see is the uh, picture like when it is cooking and after it was cooked it looks like this. So the challenges faced by the people of Bangladesh in production of the crops and agriculture are population growth, global warming and climate change. The global warming the whole world is suffering from it and the population growth even we know. The, uh, so the, there is a small and margin marginal farmers of Bangal, Bangladesh having limited access to institutional credit and only 60% of the Bangladesh people are educated. So the solution for it uh, is investment in agriculture should be raised by 2% of its GDP. Government should encourage its establishment of farmers cooperative to ensure fair price to their products. And most of all, afforestation afforestation is, should be implemented and you may think uh, we are the youths and uh, we must do something so for youth we can just uh, try not to waste paper because trees are made yeah, papers are made by trees and even though we'll uh, use utilize the paper well then we can i can guarantee you to that we can save a millions of trees so according Again, according to me, uh, many Bangladesh cuisines use leaves as the plate, which looks appealing, and fresh fish is their main course. It is also play, uh, playable and healthy food from the Ayurvedic point of view. Although Ayurveda principle rejects fish due to killing animals, which is very bad karma, but many Ayurvedic herbs is used to prepare daily foods which, in which turmeric powder, mustard seeds, ajwain, garlic, feminine leaves, etc. are used. That's why the Bangladesh food is very del delicious and everybody loves it. So I want you to all to taste a Bangladesh food because it really tastes well. And since uh, 50, 60 years, the Bangladesh food hasn't been changed and it is still their tradition to uh, use herbal products and Ayurvedic uh, Ayurvedic herbs to use uh, in their food. So thanks for the scramble crop pokhara and thank you for all of you. I really apologize for my technical error and uh, thank you all of you. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you so much, Avlet, for your presentation. Uh, now, 
Akursa, are you ready there? Akursa, Acharya, are you ready yes, for sir. Now, please. Yes, sir. Proceed, please. Best wishes. Sir, is my screen has come? No, please no. Sir, is my now. screen has come? No, please no. Till now, it is not shared. Oh, sir, can I start? Okay, okay, please. But uh, your share is not visible. Okay, okay, please. Now go ahead. Okay. Okay, sir. Let me be there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome and Namaste. My name is Akar Satarev from class 5 and my school name is West Children Academy Pokhara, Nepal. Transforming four systems, youth innovation for human and planetary health. I am going to present about Vietnam's four systems. An introduction of Vietnam's. Vietnam name is officially the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. It's a country in Southeast Asia. It is located at the eastern region of Indochinese Peninsula and is divided into 63 provinces and five municipalities covering 3,31,699 square kilometers with a population of over 96 million inhabitants making it the world's 16th most populous country. Its capital is Hanoi and its largest city is Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon. The natural food systems, agricultural production, processing, distribution, and re retail and waste. Vietnam's food divides into the three characteristics. First, geographically, second, economically, third, cultural. Or geographically. Northern Vietnam is a colder climate, limits the production and availability of spices. Central is the region in which food is prepared with the strongest and boldest flavors. The warm weather of southern Vietnam creates an ideal condition for growing a wide variety of fruits, vegetables, and livestock. Economic and second, economically. Economic growth after 1986 brought significant changes to the traditional Vietnamese diet. Third, culturally. Food is also linked to strong social habits. Vietnamese people are used to eat frequent meals taken outside home. Vietnam comes five different tastes. For sweet, salty, Bitter, pungent, and sour. Most popular food in Vietnam. Po is arguably the most popular food in Vietnam. It is available, so available beef and chicken with a variety of mushroom taste. Food challenges of Vietnam. Nowadays, food are still purchased at open air markets and street vendors a popular source of food. This is one of the most serious concerns because it makes it difficult to ensure food safety practices and the cold chain. Another concern is the vast amount of chemicals used during the war. It deteriorated the soil and has an impact on the quality of foods. Food challenges of Vietnam. These last 15 years, public policy strongly public policies strongly supported rural areas in terms of food safety. Some vulnerable households sometimes spend up to 75% of their budget on food. Nowadays, new types of food insecurity are appearing in urban areas because people no longer have the opportunity to produce their own. Youth innovation in the food and beverage sector 
As Vietnam is developing quickly, it is crucial to preserve its gastronomic culture while reducing its environmental impact. One solution is to educate both producers and consumers about safe farming and sustainable food. Secondly, Vietnam should encourage the consumption of locally grown food. This will reduce transportation costs and its resulting environmental impacts. Since food will not need to travel as far, we have to develop a wide range of creative, sustainable solutions to take up the challenge we are facing. Tips for human and planetary health. Buy your own vegetable. You can prioritize local food network. Living in a big city, you can still go to the market with a your reusable bags and try to reduce your meat consumption. Cooking lover, you can integrate many products in your recipes. Vegetarian and vegan food offer is growing in some neighborhood of Ho Chi Minh City. It is also quite common to cook meat substitute or plant-based meat such as tofu, wheat or fruit. Plant foods like beans, grains, have in the uh, very less environmental footprint and many nutritional benefits. Food Bank of Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City, Food Bank Vietnam reduced the amount of food waste and tackles the inequalities in 2016. A survey by Electrolux of 4,000 households across eight countries found that Vietnam ranks second in the food waste index in the Asia Pacific region. So we need to save food and save the earth. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Mr. Acharya, delegate from Vietnam and some of the delegates, right? Please, uh, Click out the hide icon. Some of you are not right, uh, visible here. So please click the hide icon and uh, you may be visible here. So now please, uh, may I move to Ms. Ansu Saru. She is the delegate from Armenia. Now please, Ansu Saru, turn is yours, as we say. Yes, sir. This is a layer. I don't know how. Sir, is my screen available? Yes, please, yes. Post it, please. <clears throat> okay, sir. Good evening, everyone, respected. <coughs> Good evening, everyone, respected chief guest, special guest, mentors jury members, participants, and advisors. I am Ansu Saru, and today I am here as a delegate of Armenia, mentored by Gayani Moelian, a, a country full of history. Heading towards the main topic, transforming food systems, youth innovation for humans and planetary health. I'd like to describe a saying related to our topic. My role model, Edward Ehrlich from anime, <coughs> from anyway, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, describes a saying, all is one and one is all. It means that we human beings are tiny and individually insignificant part of the greater whole. The greater whole can be called as a universe or world. But on the other hand, the greater whole needs those little things to exist. I have learned that even though we are all individuals, we need each other to rely on in order to make this life cycle go on. Now, here we have some youth engaged in agriculture for food systems. By seeing it, it seems that they are focusing in it. Now, findings. <clears throat> First, involvement of youth in transforming food systems. About 44.2% of youth uh, are involved in agriculture now. Second, condition of food systems and planetary health. Third, changes brought by youth activities. Fourth, 
changes to be brought with better system. Again, I have some youth in uh, pictures of youth involved in agriculture even during the pandemic period. No matter what the situation, it's important to grow and save the plants uh, for the sake of humanity is what it's trying to say. Now, as we can see in the slide, it's the comparison of youth activities from past and present. First, I'd like to go with the past. In Armenia, youth activities weren't started till 1990. It was totally unknown to the people. So there were less participation and even among the people who started it, they were not much serious about it and their goal was only to solve the youth problems. But now, as we can see, it's still ongoing. The participation is increasing. More people are trying to maintain the food systems and environmental health. And before, their goal was only to solve the youth problems, but now it seems that they are involved in more different activities. And by tr uh, by providing trainings for the youth, shows some seriousness in it. Now, impacts and contribution of youth activities. Active participation has been seen in the following years. We have set a good example in humanity and planetary health by protesting and protecting their surroundings. Youths have been taking part in international activities. It's of course good for the health of the earth and by seeing, by seeing it, many international organizations were interested and now they are cooperating with it. Various program, awareness programs are being con conducted for the uncultivated land. Different agriculture tools are being developed and different schools of Armenia are trying to cooperate to save the environment with the help of students and teachers. Uh, it's, of, it's obvious that we learn something when we do something. So here are the lessons that I learned from this project. Even though I have known about the youth importance, but with this project, I have uh, become more clear. Second, I have learned that knowledge cannot be gained only from the books, but also through this exploring, newspapers, internets, and mainly experience. Third, it's of course that researching about something is also meant to be learning about something. And the country Armenia, which I have never heard about, I got to know about it. Last part, conclusion. Being aware of planetary health, not only youth, but also the citizens uh, are trying to protect the planet for the sake of humanity and planetary health. And youth is the main topic here. So according to the youth, it's still not enough. More participation is required. And we have seen some great changes in the country, Armenia. So I'm sure that we will be able to see more and more positive changes in the future. At last, I would like to thank everyone for listening to me and main thanks to Binod Sir, Vice Principal of Gyan Bhagat English Boarding School, my mentor, Gayani Mailan, and Scrabble Club Pukhara for conducting such program. It's my first time, so I know there are some hosts that has to be filled to be better in this platform, so I'll try my best to launch the experience without giving up. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Ansu, from Armenia. Now, may I proceed to Ms. Apechia Arel and see the delegate from Brazil. Now, Apechia Arel, now your turn, please. Go ahead. So, am I audible? Yes, please, yes. You are audible. Okay. So, sir, is my screen visible? Yes, please, yes. Best wishes. Thank you, sir. So, greetings to the respected members of Scrabble Club Pokhara, to the honorable mentors, my fellow delegates, and all the audience. This is me, Apichara, presented as the delegate of Brazil in this uh, Youth Parliament 2021. So, let's start by introducing my country. So. Brazil. Brazil, officially known as Federative Republic of Brazil, is a country of South America that covers half of continent's landmass and also is the fifth largest country in the entire world. Talking about the youths in Brazil, 16.5% of Brazilian of total population are youth, obviously. They are aged from 15 to 33 age group. These are the youths. So, Firstly, we all know that youths are the most active citizens of any country. So 
ensuring food system and nutrition security youths are more responsible as they are most active and innovative so i believe that youth should be contributing their innovation in order to make food system transformation more sustainable and equitable so yes as a delegate of brazil i would be very glad to mention that brazil is one of one among those three successful countries that were able to transform their food system over some years that has really had a great impact in brazilian food system transformation to avoid hunger and undernutrition not only inside the country but also outside the country as it has been ex exporting a lot of food from brazil so let's talk about government policies government led efforts in brazil have focused on agricultural research and development run primarily through the brazilian agriculture research corporation also known as the mbpa which comprises 46 research centers across the country so here i'd like to explain about it more so youths as i already mentioned that they are the most active citizens more responsible and innovative citizens of course of any country so youths in brazil not only in brazil but let me talk about brazil uh, are giving more priority on food system but how definitely from agriculture because agriculture is the only source they can produce food in any country basically so in agricultural uh, they had a great change from past years like unlike past now agriculture are technology driven so they are more improved improved version of agriculture and that definitely produces good amount of food nutritious food that is definitely impacting the health of citizens brazilians youths and non youths all of them so agricultural research and development as i already mentioned that government is also investing in such sectors supporting the brazil in order in agricultural research and development of course so here comes where the contribution of the youth of course the one who are working for this are youth obviously so i believe that uh, youths in agriculture in brazil are most active in order to transform their food system so let's talk about a global campaign so here i like to mention one global campaign that is act for act for change this is not run by brazilian but also youths from various countries all over the globe they are uh, this is a campaign that is launched at the global youth lead campaign to transform food system and of course brazilian youths are also joining this campaign in order to make food system transformation not only successful in brazil also in the various countries outside the countries all over the globe of course so brazilian transformation in food system resulted in great improvement in nutrition it had great imp impact on human and planetary health and with the success and preparation upcoming health challenges brazilian youths are working for change of course their innovation they are contributing it working together working for nation working for whole world so uh, but uh, even after a lot of improvement there lies some of the challenges of course despite being one of the biggest food producer in the world Brazil is a country with major social inequalities, political instability, and large food insecure population. Within this context, many are the challenges and complex issues posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Of course, Brazil has, at the beginning of COVID wave, Brazil was one of the most affected, one of the most affected country that has been the victim. Like a lot of people died in Brazil at the first wave of COVID, but despite then, there were some of the treatment that. the government of brazil they try for but there also are some of the other challenges as i mentioned social inequalities and racism and a lot of victims of racism are deprived of nutritious food of course so social justice is what a brazilian youth think a brazilian youth perspective is on the screen that is social justice is an important part of our education and we can achieve broad change as youth from all around the globe working together and yes i do believe that brazilian government should look for the equitable and equitable food distribution of course so conclusion as uh, i know this is the time we all know that this is the time where the whole world is fighting against covid who is fighting for the health and change is necessary and youths are the one who can contribute their innovation and of course brazilian youths uh, are also helping with their presence to transform the food system and will also be contributing to the future with their great innovation and of course i believe that not only in the brazilian youth for youths all over the world they are supposed to make the world a better place to live by working together by contributing their innovation to the entire world and that is how food system transformation and health of the 
citizens' health of the people of this Madhuraat is going to improve. And with this short presentation, I would like to end here. And lastly, I would like to send my acknowledgement to all the entire team of Scrabble Club Pokhara, my fellow delegates, and especially to my mentor, Miss Vilma Luz, who was very kind-hearted and tried a lot to help me. And I hope that I did not greet a lot. And thank you for your beautiful presence. Thank you so much for your valuable time. OK. Thank you so much, Apeksha, for your presentation. Now may I proceed to Mr. Babu Puryar, and he's the delegate from Philippines. Now turn for Mr. Babu Puryar. Best wishes. Babu Pariyar. Okay, then, right, uh, I think he's not here. Now, uh, may I proceed to Ms. Nista Patrai. She is the delegate from Taiwan. Best we say, Ms. Nista Patrai. Nista Patrai. Okay, please. Yes, please. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Is your registration sharing? Sorry, is there is screen sharing? Yes, please. Yes, it is. Um, all respected dignitaries. Guests and my colleague friends. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Scrabble Club Pohara, Scrabble Club Pohara, and this officer and all the team. Um, I'd like to start my presentation. Mm, the transformation food system in Taiwan. Taiwan is a beautiful island with a great variety of species which are endangered recently. However, in order to protect our homeland, companies and local farmers work together to transfer our food system to give a new life in Taiwan's environment. Um, expanding the diversity of the food um, transformation means change, um, form, shape, or nature, appearance. Uh, here is some pictures related with Taiwanese agriculture. Uh, uh, the AFA in Taiwan carried on the duties of serving farmers and developing agricultural food industry to achieve the goals of transformation food system, ensuring food security, sustainable farming, agricultural safety, cultivation improvement, and other. Uh, the AFA in Taiwan carries on the duties of serving farmers and developing agricultural food industry. What do we do? Modernization, sustainable farming, organic agriculture, sampling of school lawns, sound health, assisting in cultivation improvement, established modern greenhouses or net houses, e management of fertilizer subsidies, uh, education for students and teachers, te teaching plants. Reasons uh, for good health, for safety and security, for our physical fitness, for life, uh, and for total development of human life. How to do it? Eat organic food, change in lifestyle, avoid chemical and junk food, reduce waste food, produce and promote uh, local food items. Uh, uh, I 
of my presentation at the last uh, i want to uh, summarize my presentation uh, food system can nurture human health and promote environmental sustainability uh, we need to avoid unhealthy diets and environmental degradation uh, we need to transform the way we eat and produce food uh, it is believed that vegetarian food is healthier than non-vegetarian food um, so we have to follow sustainable food products and practices uh, by food transformation system, we can prevent uh, premature death. Uh, we have to maintain the Earth's natural resources. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Batrai, delegate from Taiwan. Now may I request Mr. Rochak Sabguta, delegate from Bangladesh. Best wishes. I am to be in ready position. May I request to Roji Gimire, delegate from Bhutan. Now turn to Mr. Rochak Sabkota, delegate from Bangladesh. Okay, sir. So is, is my screen visible? Yes, please. It is going to be not being till now. Yes, yes. Now we can. Okay, put in portrait form. Okay, okay. So is it okay? Okay, please. Now go ahead. Good evening to you all. On the occasion of the International Youth Day, I'm presenting as a de delegate of Bangladesh. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Rochak Sapota, mentee of Badlul Group Alam Sir, presenting on behalf, behalf of Bangladesh. So, firstly, I would like to introduce Bangladesh. Bangladesh is an independent country and one of the densely populated countries in the world. Bangladesh is a densely populated small country located at Bay of Bengal. Its capital city is Dhaka and it has area of 1,48,460 km square. Today's topic that I'm going to discuss on is Transforming Food System, Youth Innovation for Human and Planetary Health. Food. Food is an integral part of human existence. It is what we need to be alive. Likewise, food system refers to a system containing a sum of actors and interaction along food chain. Food system contains production, processing, distribution, and consumption. As I'm on behalf of Bangladesh, I'll be talking about the food system of Bangladesh. Food system of Bangladesh has made a substantial progress and is making along with time. Here is a chart showing how much pro progress Bangladesh has made in following years. Foods that are prepared here, local level to bigger levels, are made with fresh and great ingredients. Campaign conducted by government to ensure food system to ensure the development of food system, boosting immunity and right to food. Boosting immunity. It is a campaign to provide vitamin A to small children and right to food. It is a campaign having vision to eliminate hunger and poverty from the society. Foods, foods that are prepared at local level to bigger level are made with fresh and great ingredients. People here eat fishes and have their own unique style of preparing food. People here not only feed on fishes, but they are hardworking also. Most people are engaged in agriculture and living their livelihood, which is a great source of production for this country. Not only agriculture, people are depending on animal husbandry too. Rather than other type of food, they depend on dairy products and meat. 
They prepare animal source foods such as milk, eggs, meat, cheese, etc. Like other countries, food system here is also rapidly transforming. It is not a surprise that food system is slowly degrading. We all are suffering from the pandemic and this same pandemic affected food system a lot. You can see the market before and market after COVID-19. We can see a such great transformation in these two photos. As I have already mentioned, we humans depend on food for our survival. The impact of COVID-19 on food system has challenged us to live. Not only population, but the economic status has also decreased. As you can see in the picture, the economy of Bangladesh has changed a lot. This is the biggest change or transformation of food system that Bangladesh has faced. Not only that, due to the lack of financial capacity, farmers of another farmers and other enterprises of production of food has drastically changed. This impact was stressed by panel members. According to panel members, only 20% of farmers have access to finance, finance through various methods. According to another survey conducted by Bangladesh National Nutrition Council, many people are purchasing cheap and less nutritional food due to raising price in Bangladesh. You can see the reports and articles on the screen saying about that. Food is something that we cannot compromise. If we do not have appropriate consumption of food, then if the, the consequences of it are malnutrition, poor health, and many more. It can be called it, you can see the, these people are suffering from mal malnutrition. Youth in, innovation for human and planetary health. Consequences of degradation of food system can be called as crisis. To control and prevent this, youth should move forward. If food system is not managed, then it may lead to destruction. The food chain should not be stopped. We youths are the future of this world. So to move forward towards success, we should move forward towards development and management. We youths mind is required for the future development. Youths like us can't compromise human and planetary health. We are the one who can perform sustainable development. To apply this, we need to use our mind and think out of the box and we can achieve our goal. So I conclude that youth innovation is required for human and planetary health. Thank you. And happy okay. international youth day. Thank you so much, Mr. Rochard Sapucha, delegate from Bangladesh for your presentation. We are at the middle of this program. We have still 10 delegates and we are so proud. Today we have the dignitaries from different sectors. We are so proud and happy to see them all. They are right, encouraging our delegates. I hope they will be with us till the end to support us and to encourage our delegates. Now, without doing delay, may I request to Ms. Roji Gimire, delegate from Bhutan, and to be in ready position, may I request to Roshani Basne Chetri, delegate from Philippines. Now, Roji Gimire, best wishes. Warm good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's me, Rosie, from Delegate from Bhutan, and my manager is Jackson Dipa. Building ones is standing tall and high until its place are very strong. Similarly, if the youth of the nation aren't strong and uncapable, a country can't develop. Bhutan has a very young population. More than half the Bhutanese are under 28. The young group consists about a third of the total population. They are full of energies, ideas, and passion and can become enthusiastic and committed agents of change. Engaging the youth. Youth should be aware that it enhances the country's food security, it enhances the youth about the financial income, and governments should promote it. Planetary health. Bhutan is in progress towards being carbon neutral. Bhutan has already achieved their half-earth target. Bhutan has developed a growth 
National Happiness Engaged to Guide its Policy Maker Well, the Wellbeing Economy Alliance advocates for the Wellbeing Based Economy System and is being embraced by other governments also. Agriculture in Bhutan has a dominant role in Bhutan's economy. Among the agricultural lands in the nation and established, 21% are wetlands, 43% are dry land, nearly 27% are used for stuffing cultivation, nearly 3% are used for garden, and 1% are kitchen gardens. Bhutan remains dependent upon food imports for India uh, from its pop for its population. Agricultural production has gone up in recent years, but imports, especially of meat, has remained high. The imports of meat and vegetables hasn't seen any significant decrease over the years. Most of the most of the vegetables imported by Bhutan are grown in India. Challenges: lack of education facilities, connectivity, and access to market, absence of proper storage facility, poverty, and youth on unemployment. Healthcare system is poor. Thank you. Happy International Day. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Rosie Gimure, delegate from Bhutan. I'll make a request to Miss Rosani Basne Chetri, delegate from Philippines, for your presentation. I'm to be in ready position. My request to Samriddhi Powdell, delegate from Italy. Now turn to Rosani. Thank you, Mr. Thapa. Hello, namaste everyone. On the occasion of World Youth Day, I am Roshni Basnil Chetri, delegate of the country Philippines, being mentored by Christian Zorn. I'm here to say some problems faced by the country Philippines. Due to some technical issues, I would kindly request Mr. Kesaparajul sir to share my slides. Hello, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, that's me, I'm sure. Okay, sir, thank you. Cannot build the future for our youth. Is it audible? Cannot build the yes, sir. We can build you for the future. Hello and welcome to the world youth parliament. Glad to have you all here. The person you remember is another delegate. My name is Rosie Martin Chetri, the delegate of the country, Finkley, entered by Christian John. Southeast Asian country, having more than 7,000 Thailand. Here to present my voice and my point on the food policy of Philippines. Food is one of the most important factors to be survived and to alive, to alive in the whole earth. I can move more than 820 million people out there suffer from hunger worldwide. The latest report of 2019 shows that more than 18.4 million people suffer from hunger in the country. In for this was unemployment, as it shows the poor finance and difficulties in day to day life specifically. This problem shows climate change, as it causes floods, landslides, and tsunami, floods of the more islands present over the It also causes poor agriculture systems, food insecurity, shortage of food, high grocery rates, hunger, increasing day by day. Not all of those is unabated. We started community pantry. The purpose the providing of good and all those pantry were directly to the local. We started at Mangan Harvest Street after the COVID-19 started, as day by day the things was getting worse. I mean all of us have unemployment, food insecurity, shortage of food, food quality hunger and many more. We are the youth. We have the active mind. We have the creative mind. It's not wasted going all day on the phone. It is delightful. Came across lots of solutions. But there are few solutions I like to share. First we have the campaigns and plans. 
campaigns to give to the people the knowledge and the awareness about the hunger, how should we get prevented? How should we get prevented, right? After then, we have our plan. Plan is our the The resources that we need. Next, we have checking the quality of the food. Checking the quality of the food is important, and nowadays many chemicals are being mixed. And that may harm us. You should check the quality of food too. Talking about the hygiene of the food, the hygiene, from where does it come from? How is this mean? How does the transportation do? Is it original? The quality of the food good. They're not going to get sick, right? So we should check the quality of the food. If we have the personal hygiene, this is always important. And more as a youth getting involved in such kind of problems, as quickly the problems are getting solved. Hence, we are the youth. Let's not forget that. Another problem solution we have environment health. We all know about the very situation, right? So, we should also pay attention to environment health. Environment health provides us a good life and a healthy life too. We are healthy, fine, but the environment, dirty, smelly, we all are sick, right again. No wonder. So, the hygiene and the health of the environment is also important. This become of ours is a little this is an important factor for the welfare of the people. Conclusion. There are many problems out there, but together we can solve all of them. There are many problems in place. Together we can. No matter what, every problem has a solution. Be patient. Let's go. Together. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you. Travel Club of Hoka for having me here. Thank you for hearing my point. Thank you for the value of your time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Hello. Okay. So, thank you so much, Ms. Rosni Basnet Chetri, for your presentation as a Delegate of Philippines. Now, may I proceed to Ms. Samridhi Audial as a delegate of Bangladesh. And to be in ready position, may I request to Mr. Sansar Chetri, delegate of Italy, please. Ms. Samridhi Audial. Ms. Audial, are you there? Samriddhi Paudyal, Delegate of Bangladesh. Not yet, sir. I think she's not here. Puna sir, am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, so may I proceed to Mr. Sansar Chaitri, delegate of Italy, I'm to be in very position. May I request to Sartak Subedi, delegate from Romania, please. Sansar Chaitri. Um, am I audible, everyone? Uh, am I audible? Yes, please. Yes, you are audible, please. Share your slide. Is my slide visible? No, please. Till now, it is not visible.
need permission if said uh I'm sorry, screw because uh I need permission, sir. It's not allowing me. Uh, Sansa, <coughs> Puna, sir. Yes, sir. Sansa, uh, you can share everyone who is open uh, for sharing, please. So, it is open for sharing, please, Sansa. Okay, some sort of base you do uh, years, over the years, right? You will manage your some technologies. No, please, no. Till now, it is not visible. So please manage your, some of the technologies. So, okay, should be. Okay, don't worry, right? You will get a chance, so please you will manage over there. So, so Rob, shall I share with you the link or do you want me to present? Okay, uh, so please you will do next. Uh, I'll go to next one, okay? So now, my request to Mr. Sartak Subedi, delegate from Romania. Sartak, are you there? Mr. Yes, sir. Sartak Subedi, please. Yes. I, to be in ready position, request to okay. Mr. Sawad Gautam, delegate from Russia. Yes. No, please. Is my, is my screen visible? Yes, please, yes. Best wishes. Shall I start soon? Yes, please, yes. Good evening, everyone. I am Sartak Subedi as a delegate from Romania, which is an European country with the theme of transforming food system, youth innovation for human and planetary health. Contents of that my presentation focuses Introduction to Food System, Importance of Food Transformation for Human and Planetary Health, food, food System in Romania, Food Production in Romania, Human and Planetary Health, Effect of COVID-19 on Food System, Impacts of Youth Activities, and Conclusion. Introduction of Food System. Food System is a complex web of activities involving production, processing, transport and consumption. In context of Romania, the production of major food crops and its consumption is the present food system in Romania. The importance of transformation of food system for human and planetary health. Food system can protect human beings and promote the sustainable environment, but due to the uncontrolled population growth, the current food system of Earth is driving on healthy diets and destroying the environment. Therefore, to overcome it, to overcome the climate change in future, there is need of transforming food system, food production in Romania. According to 2018 European Union report, Romania is the third biggest agri agricultural producer, enough to feed the nation and export other countries. Million tons of maize weight potato etc are produced every year. Romania for sustainability. Romania follows United Nations 2013 agenda of 17 sustainable goals, which include sustainable food system. It is only the solution for food crisis in the world. It considers the factors of health and environment. It is ability to feed the population without compromising the future. And it maintains planetary and human health. Human and planetary health. Romania 
is sustaining the fundamental elements which are health, healthy nutrition, equitable and effective primary health care system for good health of all population. Health is our most important element of our life. Youth of Romania are transforming food system for good health and planetary, good human and planetary health as per the need of 21st century. Effect of coronavirus in food system. In Romania, about 1.09 million corona cases are found till now. Due to the wide spread of coronavirus, the government declared lockdown throughout the country, which has made great impact on food system and food supply chain. But good news is that anti-COVID-19 vaccination campaign is launched in Romania. About 26% of population are being vaccinated. Impacts of youth activities in Romania. Enough food production to eradicate hunger and maintain balanced diet. Awarding people about the environment consumption for human health. Seeking the attention of government to achieve sustainable goals. Establishing various youth campaign for Romania for coronavirus prevention in Romania. Conclusion. Youth research and innovation are the key to make food system more sustainable, religion, inclusive, and also to maintain human and planetary health, which is impossible without meaningful youth participation. At last, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to my mentor for support, and I would like to thank Scrabble Pro Club Pohara, which has given me golden opportunity to participate in World Youth Parliament. Happy International Youth Day. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Subedi, for your presentation as a delegate from Romania. Now, may I proceed to Mr. Saugat Gautam, delegate from Russia. Uh, before, if there is, if you are, thank you, sir. Ready? Dobre vichar vishyam. Yes, Saugat Gautam. Yes, Vikchavas. Are you there? Um, yes, I'm here. Hello. Sir, you will give after this. Sansar? Yes, sir. You will present after Saugat, I guess. Yes. Sir, I'd like to present. Sir, I'd like to present. Okay, sir. Dovre Vichyar Vishim. Yes, Saugat Gautam. Sigodna ya jes. Vichyatsavaste. Delegata o trocina forme, ser minogo, morbodes nogo parlamenta. Dear delegates, mentors, and everyone present, I, as the Russian representative, would like to extend my wishes for the International Youth Day. Today, I will be taking you to a virtual ride of Russia, speaking mainly to Russian agriculture. So, uh, let's start. Okay. This is what I call the Russia's wheel for progress. So today we are going to cover up four major aspects. First one would be Russia, youth and agriculture. Second one, patterns, innovation and path. Third one, youthfulness in soil and fourth for the world. Now let's head towards Russia, youth and agriculture. So here I provide you with a very quick insight. Youth in Russia makes up of 14% of total Russian population. Literacy rate is at 99.70% uh, is youth entrepreneurship. Agricultural reform after 1990s, agriculture's contribution to GDP, modernization, and perhaps Russia is the world's largest wheat exporter. So we are all going to cover up these main aspects and that will be the key term for my today's presentation. This one right here is the logo of Ministry of Agriculture for Russia. So let's head towards pattern, patterns, innovation, and path. So for this, let's have a very sweet start. 
вкуснее бывает? Нет, наши самые вкусные. Много Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 so if you heard or not, uh, that was Russian President Putin joking how strong those apples were seen. Undoubtedly they are. So now look at these headlines over here. Russia's wheat har- harvest surpasses previous record. Russia's wheat reports drive increase. Russia wheat production third highest. Russia sunflower seed record planted. And look at the graph over here. So agriculture has consistently been able to contribute a massive proportion to Russian GDP from 2018 to 2020. And it has been absorbed for the last three decades. So to know the reasons, we need to be aware of the post-Soviet Russia. So what I mean by post-Soviet Russia. So here it is. A strong institutional reform was implemented in the last two decades that made this drastic change in Russian field and importantly, the adaptation of state of art technological innovations. Perhaps it means the highest level of general development for any country in a time frame. So you can look the picture aside. It shows how the transformation has taken place from the brink of famine in the late 1980s to food security in the 2010s. So here uh, you have a headline regarding global breakthrough scenario. So we will be covering that up in upcoming slides. So we are known about the patterns. Now, what is youthfulness in the field? So uh, we believe youth is not defined by a certain age. It's a feeling. So let's head towards here. Boom. Russia extended food import ban through end 2021. So Russia has been importing food ban so this may arise a question of what and how. What is Russia doing if it's importing food ban and how is it still producing on a very large scale? So let's look into the innovatory ideas, technologies applied that are the contribution of youths that helped Russia all the time. So first one we have is use of drones. So it might look amazing, right? To see drones spraying all the pesticides on farmland. Drones turn out to be uh, so helpful for monitoring hectares of lands and crops. And next one we have is robotic soil testing. So the soil needs to be a qualitative for massive production. Along with it, statistical agriculture system is practiced here in Russia. So sensors, different equipment and data along with it are taken, evaluated and used for further development. So you can see over there as well. And next thing or the most important, which I say is encouraging entrepreneurship and agri-tech startups. So youths are ready to step into mod with a graduation degree on their hand. The steady condition and the future possibilities had uh, made youths there to dive right into it. You can see in your screen, new generation, new ideas, and surely better outcomes. From that period of famine to this era of high-tech advancement, Russian youth stood all along and we are ready for upcoming days as well. So we have known about the innovative ideas that Russia has been applying. So what are we uh, left to uh, left for this world? What do we like to present? Here it is. We stand strong in terms of production. There's growing demand in Africa, Asia regarding the Russian products. We have a sustainable plan. So the growth of the agriculture and food sector would be accelerated by one to two percent. That's the vision global breakthrough scenario 2020 to 2030 so a strong growth of agriculture and food sector would be supported by reformed science and technology and innovation policies so that's what we see united nations has already declared to raise serious concerns and world hunger so we stand ready to help the world russia is ready but what holds us back these are some of the main aspects. So U.S. sanctions since 2014. U.S. sanctions even after the Cold War has uh, some fluctuations. So U.S. sanctions in certain sectors, entities, and individuals in Russia has hugely affected the economic stability and distribution. Next thing is about localization. Agriculture in Russia, despite being highly modernized, emphasizes on localization. That points a major drawback for its global impact. Next we have is Russian ban. So President Putin signed decree number 730 extending Russia's ban on the import of agricultural products 
from the countries that applied economic sanctions against Russia. So right now in 2021, there's a ban on the import. So this has affected to meet the needs of the world. As a representative, I would like to assure the stability we will be having to all the other delegates and countries over there. Let's have a talk over the issue. Collectively, we shall be moving forward for a better state of food security and planetary health. So yeah, which symbolizes everything for us. That was it. Uh, that was it. Thanks to my mentor, Alan Ranu from Russia and all the references over here. Here I leave you with a video that uh, you can watch regarding Russian agriculture. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Gautam, for your presentation as a delegate of Russia. I may re request to Mr. Sansar Chetri, please, can you proceed for your presentation? Mr. Sansar Chetri, as a delegate of um, okay, Italy. Sir. Please. I'm sure Ray yeah. had some problem there. Share your slide to please. If you have some problem there, please share your slide to Una, sir. He will share your slide and you can present again. So share your slide to Una, sir, in Gmail. He will share, then you will present again. If you have some problem there. Sansar, do you hear to me? I think he's frozen. I think he has internet connection problems. Yes, so I will go to next. Uh, you will manage his problem there. So they will coordinate uh, with our IT specialist here. Una, sir, you will manage that here you i'm okay okay sansar if you are ready then you can uh, present now sansar it's actually sansar from the very rural area from Parvat. <laughs> okay so una sir you like going it with him. I'll go to next time. After that, I'll give you a chance. It's okay? Okay. okay sir. Thank you so much. Now, may I proceed to Mr. Citizen Nure, delegate of Philippines. Mr. Citizen Nure. Citizen, are you here? Yes, sir. Yes, I am here. Okay, please. Yes, so, shall I start? Please, please. Best to... Sure, sure, please. Best wishes. Okay, sir. So is my screen visible? No. Uh, yes, yes, it is visible now. Okay, hello. Good afternoon. Namaste. Good evening to everyone. Kumustake, how are you? It's me, Susan Ure, mentee of Miss Daisy M. Galgana. So today, with the theme of transforming, transforming food system, youth innovation for human and planetary health, I'm going to tell about it. Sounds up. Okay. Without delaying, I'm into, I, I, I want to enter in my first slide. So let me describe about Philippines. Philippines is the one of the world's largest archipelagos in the nation. It is located in Southeast Asia, in the western of Pacific Ocean. Its capital is Manalia, and its population is around 100.9 million. Its area is around 298,171 square kilometer. So what is food? Food is any nutritious substance that animal people eat or drink or plant absorb in order to run out their life and maintain growth. It is necessary and essential for living beings because no one can exist without intake of food. 
other than water food is also essential for everyone it is like very essential for everyone so transformation of food system nowadays the oil is being modern and even various transformation in food system can be observed people are neglecting the nutritious food traditional food and taking junk food that adversely damage their liver and cause many more diseases they have a mindset of being modern stylish pricing such package items but it is like dreaming in a day it's like it can't be happen even youth are involved in such activity of taking junk food so in this slide you can see the old philippines that used to eat healthy foods and the now philippines that used to eat very junk food items problems in health by food system number one the state of the old children children food nutrition revealed that one in three filipino children under five years old are stunted which means they are too short for their age while roughly seven percent of children are too short too short and thin from their height moreover our 10 filipino adolescents are now overweighted increased vulnerability to disease due to poor health seeking behavior incomplete immunization poor hygiene and care practices and inadequate diet both in quality and quantity causes on the nutrition in early childhood people in philippines are forgetting the unique taste of edible lumpia in a serpent seed lesson for the junk item that indicates the risky factor in the health system for upcoming generation anemia peptic also cardio problems can be observed in people in malnutrition blindness so on problems can be observed in young one because of their food habits the philippine government recognized that malnutrition remains a significant public health concern in the country stunting is now seen as one of the major impediments to human development is and is recognized as a well established marker of poor health child development in the philippines with 64 percent of the population are suffering from chronic food security insecurity okay if there is problem there is also solution so solution to all the problems and youth innovation in it are number one in response the government has developed strategies and targets through philippines plan of action on nutrition ppan from 2017 to 2022 the country also passed ra 1148 or the kalusugan nutrition Nyang Meng ne act it for the first thousand days law which aims to in stunting all perform all forms of malnutrition through sound investment and comprehensive strategies second solution the youth should be aware about the upcoming situation in the planet health and various campaigns should carry on taking junk of start carry on uh, on stopping of taking of junk food and even production international organization should provide bright and proper ideas and possible solution to help the Filipinos upgrade the level of food security which is handled by their government for solution the Filipinos the Philippine government should instruct the de Department of Education together with the Department of Health to spread awareness by conducting seminars webinars regarding the significance of eating the right kind of food the so youth should be informed that they go through big physical changes in poverty they need extra nutrition to fill these physical changes which means they need to eat healthy food in their life level of physical activity and stage of development determine exactly how much healthy they, food they need fifth solution according to my mentor philippines is also is a country with lots of delicious nutritious food young people of today just need to aware of what to eat and make sure it is healthy ever taking junk food scary healthy snack wherever you are going remember this word mind mouth muscle that will help you organize how will you detox and recover from taking up some food okay thank you for your precious time and thank you to mrs dai galana for our support thank you okay thank you so much mr Nuri, for your presentation as a delegate of philippines thank you so much and uh, mr chaitri are you ready there sansar chaitri I think okay. Sansar can, can see it there. May I? Um, I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. I just think that, yes, yeah, very serious problem connection because to share yeah. the presentation, it's not a problem. It's just uh, a web link. Uh, but I really think that, yes, yeah, problem connection because every time that we talked, I mean, uh, yeah, it was quite difficult. I'm really sorry because it did a very great job. I mean, so I, I really hope that he's able to connect. So, okay, please. So we are also so eager to show you that presentation. 
We are so happy to see you there, right? You are also so eager to see your mentee's presentation. Hope you will present that. We are trying to do so. Okay, the optimistic hope will do, right? So uh, now we'll more. Now may I request to Soita Dungana, delegate of Malaysia, for your presentation, and to be in ready. Position, may I request to Supriya Bujal, delegate of Italy. So please now turn to Ms. Soita Dungana. Soita, are you there? Ms. Soita Dungana. Soita, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, please. Best wishes. Is my screen clear? Yes, please, yes. Go ahead. Best wishes. So, Ida, you are not audible. Soita, are you there? Okay, okay please. Okay, but you are not audible, are you there? Please. Okay, okay, yes. You are visible. Sorry, your slides are visible. You are audible. Proceed, please. Okay, please. Do fast. Okay, then, Supriya, are you there? Yes, sir. Supriya, okay, please. Soita, please, you will present after Supriya. Okay, so please, be ready there. You will manage your technicalities. So, please, uh, may I proceed to Ms. Supriya Bujal, delegate of Italy, please. Best to say, Supriya. Sir, is my skin visible? Yes, please, yes. Skin also visible, your sound also audible, please. Best wishes. Thank you, sir. Hello, everyone. My name is Supriya Bujel. I'm, I'm, I'm here to present about the topic World Youth Parliament. My mentor was Christiana Periti, and I'm the mentee of Italy. There is some. Uh, Italy is a European country with long Mediterranean coastline and has left a powerful mark on Western culture and Christians. Its capital is Rome, is home to Vatican as well as landmark art and assistant twins. 
Other major cities include Florence with the masterpiece such as Mississippi to Tavit, and Venice, the city of Canals, and Milan, Italy's fashion capital. Its currency is euros. The population of Italy is 60.30 million. Its official language is Italian. Some of the features of youth are participation in agriculture. It's the features of youth of Italian finding prospects on farms. Foods and agriculture. Due to the poor food quality, many people are dying and causing many fatal diseases. There is unpredicted rise of overweight, obesity, and hunger. To prevent this, people should use healthy food through faster, strong implementations of supply and demand side strategy. Transferring food system helps us to gain more goods and healthy diet food. By the help of these, citizens are getting enough food. It has been changing up our life. Agriculture is also indicated as the main cause of loss of natural diversity. Together with the transformation habit, but not also agriculture cares these problems. These are there are agriculture models that test this uh, primary findings. Uh, in Italy, youth are very much engaged in agriculture and youth source. Conditions of agriculture and youth source. So, <coughs> Problem caused in food transmission due to pandemic. Also due to youth change brought of youth activities. Changes to be brought for the better systems. Impact of youth activities in food transformation system. Due to the active participation in youth at least, it plays a great role to provide healthy food for the people. Their environment has to grow vegetables in uncultivated and abandoned land. As this land awareness is developing in Italy, that food must be healthy and locally sourced. Significant condition for youth activities. People in Italy are working jointly and voluntarily in happy developmental activities for betterment of agriculture. It has helped in the modernization of agriculture work. Youth are working jointly to ensure that every being gets to have healthy and safe food. Lesson that I learned from this list uh, project. During these activities, I get to know about the food transforming process and their importance in our day-to-day -day life. I get to learn that uh, learning is not only limited in books. We still get, by the exploration, we can get more knowledge and skills. With the help of research study, we can get more facts that, that, than that fact that we learn from our book. Being a youth, I still get involved in different programs so that I can get more knowledge and go further with more knowledge and skills. Uh, I'm here with conclusion. <clears throat> in at least cities recent year, also due to the pandemic, our one garden has developed. What is produced in the field are to be sold directly on the territory. At the same time, pollution is decreased because not many means are used to transfer food. It reflects on the aspect that ensuring food are all returning to cultivate the land, its own face are challenge of future. At last, I would like to thank uh, thanks, uh, my mentor, Christiana Pedrieta, Carol Proffer, and Mr. Binod Powder, vice principal of our school. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, <clears throat> thank you so much, Ms. Bujel, for your presentation, Delegate of Italy. Uh, so now, Soita, are you there? Soita yes. Dungana. Yes, sir. Please. Delegate from Malaysia. Best wishes to Ms. Soita Dungana for your presentation. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. Most of all, let me introduce myself. I am Soita, the delegate of Malaysia, and I am the mentee of Lee Shaim. Food safety system of Malaysia. 
Malaysians take food very seriously but are less concerned about food safety. This is not because of incident. In 1988, several children died from the combination of folic acid. Uh, as after food safety has been maintained from production to conduction, many ministries and agencies are involved in the process. The Malaysian food safety system is categorized by its complexity and diversity, with different authorities interested with the tax of ensuring food safety at the different stages of the food chain. The food control system is recognized by Malaysia as a system that requires a continuous re-examining and reviewing in order to ensure important improvements are effective in the food processing and the production safety system. Coordination and collaboration among various agencies in Malaysia is imperative for an effective and efficient food program. Planetary health, the health of human civilization and the natural system in which it depends. First of all, what is planetary health? Planetary health is a field focused on categorizing the human health impact of human-caused destruction of Earth's natural system. As a delegate of Malaysia, Malaysia must keep focus on plan planetary health in physical and socio-economic development, planning so to as to bring about positive impact to the people and the environment. The environment as the water ministry National Water Council Secretary in the statement says the matter was highlighted by Muzidan when chairing the second National Water Council meeting which was held virtually. Overview. Malaysia has made impressive population-wide health gain with the low-cost health care system. However, the Malaysian government also faces challenges. How to agree on the schemes for fair and sustainable funding strengthening the governance of both public and private health services, determining the balance between public and private sector delivery, and considering whether the community would be better served by more decentralized and responsive service. Thank you. I hope you like my presentation. OK. Thank you so much, Ms. Jungana, Delegate of Malaysia for your presentation. Now, may I move to Ms. Soichya Amatya, Delegate of India. Soichya, are you there? Yes, sir. Please, best wishes for your presentation. Thank you, sir. Is my screen visible, sir? No, please. Till now? Yes, yes. Now it is going to be visible. OK, sir. Please. Best to say it once again. Namaste, everyone. We expected you, person, juries, special guests, mentors, and all my distinguished delegates. As today's program is organized by a scrabble crop of Pokhara and we are talking about the food system throughout the world and I am here representing food system of India. Firstly, let's know what food system really is. The food system is a complex wave of activities and infrastructures that include everything from growing, harvesting, processing, packaging, shipping, marketing, distribution, consumption and disposal of food. Moving forward, let's talk about the current situation of global food system. Our global system today is junk and genetically modified consumption. There is increasing food insecurity in every country of the world today. Globally, 690 million population is undernourished. Food basically doesn't contain balanced diet and one third of the food is thrown away. Representing the food system of India, we all know that India is one of the largest country of the world. It has large amount of land for cultivation. About 
Half of the population of the India, which is 42.6%, is engaged in agriculture. There is increasing food insecurity. Indians consume high carbohydrates, fat, sugar, salt in their diet. Most of the food that are consumed are based on white wheat and white flour. Governmental support for food security. So what are the approaches that are done by the government to meet the food security to all the population? In, uh, in 1940s, PDS system was established for better food access. Later on, the same food system was improvised in 1950-1997, uh, where the government focused on the people below the poverty line so they can have food access in less, uh, less amount compared to the other economic line of India. Likewise, in 2013, it was specified that all the India have right to food security, followed by the Indian government purchased food grains at minimum support price, which is designed to financially support the farmers. Even though India have large and level, large land for production of food, uh, and it is sufficient and it is self-sufficient for the food production for its own people, there are some of the factors that affect its food system. First is its increasing population. Others are poor agriculture practices. Agriculture level of, uh, of India are not fully or properly educated about the modern for uh, modern agriculture technologies, they use excessive chemical fertilizer to increase their production. There is poor water mismanagement, as well as uh, as well as people uh, use. There is poor water ma mismanagement that are causing drought and land infertility. Likewise, there is lack of dietary diversity in India. The Mostly in diet, Indians mostly consume white wheat and white rice. Such factors and other many more have invited various problems in food system of India. First is people suffer from food insecurity. Approximately people above 200 million are undernourished. India serves one third of the global hunger burden. Vitamin deficiency is very common in India. Most of the people suffer from lack of food. Due to this, in a year, people living below poverty lines, especially farmers, commit suicide. Here's the data taken by National Crime Records Bureau of India in 2020 that shows that 10,000 farmers and agriculture levels kill themselves in that year. And that's the 11.12% of India's total suicide victims. In the given chart, the large uh, verse describes the reasons of farmer suicide. The factors that hold the largest chunk is the failure of crops, which is 22.14%. Above all this, problems of what can be done to improve the food system of India. First and foremost, the population should be controlled according to the land's carrying capacity. People should try to follow healthy food habits practically. Government has implemented in its curriculum about food security and its and the balance diet, but the people are not following practically. So it should be so the healthy food habits should be followed practically. Likewise, instead of chemical fertilizers, use of biofertilizers should be emphasized. Chemical content in junk food should be monitored. Agricultural products consumption must be diversified. Prioritizing locally grown food, such as brown rice, wheat, and organic vegetables and fruits. Government should make sure that all its population are getting proper food security, especially focusing in the people below the poverty line. And as last, Thank you very much for your kind attention and time and happy International Day to all of the members. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Amati, for your presentation, delegate from India. Now, any delegates, if you are remained here, you are joined after some of their problems. Sansar, are you there? Sansar, are you Yes, sir, yes. Please, please. And, please, uh, please. 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 Trying to share if it isn't, then you, you can share it. I'm trying to Okay, okay.
then the sensor and um, that's with this country that's why it may take um, bandwidth that's why i'll share your content sensor Sansar, are you there? Sansar, really, we have a network problem, sir. Yes, so it is yeah. <laughs> better to share slides by you and yes, I got, under it. I got his content, but okay. But his bandwidth, that's a ruler area, that's why, he's, please, sorry. Okay, sir, please. <laughs> Sansar. Okay, your mentor is really eager to see you. Please, if anything else, please manage it. Really, but, really, really, yes. Sura area. See, so right, eager to see your presentation. If there's anything else, please manage it. We are also eager to see you and your presentation. Please. Dhruva sir, I saw here Babu for your... Babu, okay. Babu, are you there? Babu, are you there? Babu Parier. Yes, sir. Delegate of Philippines. Please, do you want to present now? Okay, sir. Babu, please. Best wishes. He is a delegate of Philippines. Best wishes, Babu. Still, we are waiting, Mr. Sansar. Hope we will see and we will hear his presentation. Let's hope. Babu, please proceed ahead. Babu, Babu, are you there? Sir, I am not able to share my screen. So please, uh, you also please uh, send your slide to Una, sir, or you can share in this chat. You will share your slide and you can present that also. If you have some problem on your network and so on. So, Sansar Babu, the two are here with us. Beside these two, if there are others, please, you can tell to me. Otherwise, now we are going to wrap up our right program with your result and so on. But we'll wait for some minutes to our two delegates, Mr. Babu and Mr. Sansar. If they can, we'll wait up to two, three minutes more. Then we'll go to our closing ceremony. We are so proud. We have so many dignitaries, personalities from different areas of our society. We are so proud to see till now here, right? They are encouraging our delegates. They are 
increasing to us is our pleasure to see them here in our program is our glad to see them till now is being uh, two hour and 40 minutes still they are with us we are so happy hope now within 10 or 15 minutes we will finish our program here so hope till the last we'll be here Sansar, Babu, anything else? Una sir, our IT yes. space. So please, what we have to do now? If there are any possibilities Mr. to join? Sansar, Sansar disconnected from on this meeting, maybe mm -hmm. electricity problem or network problem, but we got link. And Babu Paria? Babu is here Babu with Pariyar, us. Yes, Babu, Babu Paria is Babu, Babu is contains, uh, I didn't get Okay. Mm -hmm. Babu? So, I'm good. Okay, please. Don't worry. We are trying to manage here. Let's be optimistic. Hope you can present here. So, our IT specialist, Mr. Rana, is managing there. Just a minute, sir. Babu Korea, Yes. Okay. So I speak. Sir, on the slide. Share yourself. Where is my screen visible? Yes, yeah. make plain step, make plain step.
Babu Pallar, can you continue from my share my screen? My mentor is Kerala Mail. Screen off. Every young mind can create things and possibilities where human can live, live harmoniously. It creates you and I as part of greatest contribution for the innovation of our food system. As what Abraham Lincoln once said, the greatest fine art of the future will be the making of, of a comfortable living from from my small pieces of land. Ladies and gentlemen, to my fellow speakers and, and different mentors around the world and to our respective judge, Subha Sandhya, Mangdanga Bhai, good evening. Did you hear my voice? Yes, please, yes. Go ahead, please. Some considered as the some factor and interaction along the food value chain from input, supply, and production. Does this system has difference in some countries? All these similarities allow us to be in origin on the same context. Let me tell you a little little about Nepal and Philippines food system. Nepal is richly endowed with agrobiodiversity. We have 48% covered national household food security while 38.8% in rural, rural area. We are fa fa we are we are facing such challenge and low in inadequate production, but with high cost of materials, losing of farmers, change on food Consum consumption and more because of it. Government creates some useful policy like Nepal food security monit monitoring system and agriculture and food security project 2013 and more philippines blessed with natural resources to however they also affected to natu natural natural Climatis and have inadequate infrastructure there for government in the uh, Indian build 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 program to help Filipino farmers on September UN will raise raise this issue on how to include include, include possi possible game changing strategies for the innovation innovation to have a healthy and Provided soft 
sustainable diets with the equitable access as well as to regenerate the natural environment have you ever thought of why do human and planetary connected to our food system human and planetary conference 21st century on its intersection of chronic disease in improved but improved but continuity of food in security under nutrition and sustain sustainability require a fundament fundamental of food system to meet involving and future needs of consumer producer and the resources base based on which all life depends look outside what you can see today's pandemic so how we vulnerable to the global nation and local food system would spread but the remaining question on my mind is transforming food system but how there are six, six su suggest critical domains for a successful trans transformation reinvent agriculture transform food environment for healthy diets mitigate mitigate climate change productively in engage the private sector in influence public policy properties and needed to establish today cost accounting be engaged are you we poor nutrition during child childhood so so we might interact food food system with less experience not knowledge and skills and skills and less pa powerful in position so our daily engagement is associated associ seated with multidimensional multidimensional objective as motivating engagement and unique interest youth has a consi consi consideration of life course where where in it sort suggest the change of life lifestyle and give impact to food environment as a youth we begin to be food consumption in the independent ad and result to great profession on food consumption outside the home such as eating street foods school canteens even even to other food establish establishment we can be we can be we can be pointing pointing tail change okay. as 
Babu, right, your time is over, so please wrap up, okay? Right, your time is finished, so please, can you wrap up your presentation? Babu, please. In your presentation, okay. Okay, thank you so much, Babu, for your presentation. And uh, still, we have the hope. Hope never dies. So still we have hope. Puna sir, if there is some sir, still we have some time for him. Okay, Sansar, can you? Yes, sir. Please Sir, can you please it. share my contents, please? Okay, that's, that's great, great. Yes. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes. Please. Yes, sir, yes. Question, sir, you can... So, you can hello, uh, good evening, everyone. Okay, fine. So, yeah. Hello and good evening, everyone. This is Sansar Sedri, delegate of Italy, going to talk on the transforming food systems, youth innovation for human and planetary health. So, Italy. Italy is a bit. Italy is a beautiful European country in the Mediterranean coastline, which is, which is known all around the world because of its historical monuments, beautiful artworks, and its amazing cuisines. So you can change the slide. Another one, please. So, have you ever wondered, we talk about food system, food system all the time, but what actually does the strong food system contribute to a country or why a uh, strong food system is needed to a country? Next. Okay, well, food system touches each and every aspect of human existence. Food, uh, the health of our food systems profoundly affects our economies, our cultures, and our rituals. If the same food system is fragile or if weak, then Helping disorder threatens our education, our cultural aspects, and our religion, and our peace and security as well. That's why a good and strong food system is really, really important for a country. Next slide, sir. Next one. So, let's have a quick game over the Italian food system. George Miller says that the trouble with eating Italian food is that five or six years later you are hungry again, which even describes the great Italian cuisine. So what about the Italian food system? Italian, in Italian food system, agriculture is one of the key economic sectors because it contributes around 2.1% of total Italy GDP. Since Italy is a uh, member country of European Union, the food system issues and policies are managed under the regulations and directives of the European Union. While seeing the production in Italy, so previous slide. While talking about the production in the Italy, the production in northern Italy can be is higher, is higher than the southern region of Italy because of the more fertile soil and improved mechanics and techniques as well. While seeing the uh, exports or agricultural exports of Italy, olives and grapes are two of the most famous agricultural exports of Italy. Next one, sir. So let's have a close look towards the obstacles or hindrances in the Italian food system. Next one. So the first issue or the first obstacle in Italian food system is the issue of plastic pollution. Italy is a tourist destination with beautiful beaches and coastlines, but yearly 
uh, huge amount of litter is produced from those beaches and beaches and coastlines, and most of it is the plastic, which again comes to the food chain. The plastic pollution caused uh, caused in the beaches and coastline is not only causing the adverse effect in human health, but it's also causing a really negative impact in the tourism industry of Italy as well. Next slide, sir. The next issue is the issue of imported food. While talking about the Italian food import, most of the Italian food is imported from the specialized traders or brokers, or even the Italian food is imported directly by the means of air. But the process involved here from processing, harvesting, distribution, this process takes a really long time. So because for the purpose of preserving the food for a long time, certain preservatives or chemicals are used, which are obviously not good for health but many Italians are compelled to eat those. Let's take an example here. Suppose someone wants to eat an apple, but, so previous one, please. Let's say, let's say someone wants to have an apple, but he or she knows that it's not the season, it's an off season for apple, or in, its, in this season, it is impossible to get apple, but the same person is getting beautiful, red looking, juicy apples in the market which are obviously preserved using preservatives and which contains chemical in them. Those apples are certainly going to be good for him, but it is sure that he or she is going to end up in hospital bed sooner or later. So the next problem in Italian food system is the uh, problem of seed contamination and genetically modified seeds. We all are very clear that seeds are used for the uh, growth of plants and crops so that people can uh, have something healthy and something, uh, something good for their health. But what if the same seeds, if the product gives the production that harms our health? The same case happens with the genetically modified seeds and the contaminated seeds. While talking about these contaminated seeds, people are able to get the, sorry, previous slide, are the uh, production that they want or that, that, that they wanted, they don't get the production. And while talking about genetically modified seeds, people end up getting the food that causes negative impacts in them, like uh, toxicity, allergic response, etc. So another rising issue of Italy is the issue of fire disaster. We might have heard that fire disasters are one of the greatest issues, greatest disaster that causes uh, that takes a lot of lives of people. And but the story of fire disaster in Italy is really really different. You might have heard it is caused by some accidents, but in Italy, people are causing knowingly. They know that fire is a uh, fire is gonna kill the animals in the forest. Then really the forest fire here, it is. Uh, they know that the forest fire is going to kill the animals and it is people are going to be worried. But the arsonist groups in Italy are causing this to threaten people and to complete their desires. So here's also one example for you. So someone wants to build a hotel, a three-star hotel, but he or she sees that uh, there is a forest, there is forest. It's not probably possible for him to uh, make a hotel over there, but what if the same uh, forest won't exist there? So arsonist groups are causing fire disasters over Italy to complete their desire. So it's a very alarming issue over the Italy, uh, Italy and in the Italian food system as well. Next one, sir. So one of the greatest and alarming issue of Italy is uh, the death of bees issue or death issue of bees as well. So as we all know that bees are the most hardworking creator among all. Among along with being hardworking, they also support the pollination that helps in the growth of crops. But in Italy, a alarming situation was created when thousands of thousands of thousands and thousands of bees started dying of the single household. So it is the when sudden bees start dying, it is also it is symbol that the crop crop production is gonna be reduced and it is directly gonna hamper the uh, economy of the country as well. It is even said that if bees disappear face of the earth, then humans will have only four years to live. So we can understand that bees are the excellent indicators of toxicity in our environment. So what bees shows us, what bees tell us, taken with great concern for the preservation of future generations. Next slide, sir. 
So let's have a close look uh, towards the good practices that are going on in Italy to preserve the Italian food system and the Italian food system. First one is kilometer or simply KM0. Kilometer zero simply refers to the consumption of the local food that's been produced, that's had traveled a small, day, a, sim, sorry, a small distance after the production, which means that the food that hasn't been uh, imported from faraway places or the food that hasn't been preserved or anything that has uh, traveled a long distance. So the approval of kilometer zero not only ensures the optimal freshness in the fruits or vegetables or any sort of food items, also helps to embrace the regional identity. It, it minimizes the environmental impacts on the production as well. Next slide, sir. So another one is GAS, Gruppi di Agosto Soledal in Italy, or simply GAS is the Ethical or Solidarity Processing Group, or the group of people that purchase goods, food, or together. Um, uh, together in wholesale in wholesale from the local or local producers doing so they help uh, they they are benefited with in saving money by cutting the intermediary chains of the supermarket and also they have the additional benefit of getting the local and organic products next slide sir so the next one is slow food as you all know that every country every region as its own typical meal, typical style of living, and typical culture. But in the changing uh, in the changing scenario, people are more attracted to modernity. Being modern doesn't mean that one should forget his or her own culture, his or her own identity. So to preserve that, slow food was established. So previous slide, please. Slow food was established in 1986 by Carlo Petrini, which works to preserve the disappearance of local food and cultures, traditions that are around us. Next slide, sir. So Italian food certifications. So European Union provides it, uh, uh, food, uh, food with the acronyms like DOP, IZP, and DOC to ensure that they are authentic and they are made in a natural way. So. The Italian food certification not only ensuring the safety of the food, it also reduces the international trade barrier that product. And along with that, it also creates a trust within the consumer that he or she is consuming that is made organically and that has uh, that is made in a real in an in such a way that is not harmful to them. So it's a really good practice. Next slide, sir. So organic food. As we, as I am just speaking right now, so in Italy, many people are being aware of the alarming situation that is being created all around the world because of the food systems and the problems of the food system. So people are aware about the situation, and many of them are coming, uh, um, conducting rally, they're, they're conducting some sort of programs. So organic food is also some something like that. Like people aren't attracted, aren't to, attracted to supermarket or supermarket. It's not like they are around, attracted to a supermarket. They're attracted but they search for the organic product. They are searching for the organic product that has been pro produced organic. So which ensures the good health of the people and it's a really good practice. Next one, sir. So what are the possible solutions that are uh, possible with the involvement of youths. Let's close look at that. Next slide. So the first and foremost thing is that youth, youth can be recognized as the sign of change. Youth are made recognized as the caretakers and assistant takers in many, in many, in many contexts and many scenarios. But if the youth started, uh, if if you start taking part in a food transformation uh, and in natural activity, so they can be recognized as the sign of change as well. And while seeing from the development perspective, so today's youth is in the front line that has to cope up with the environmental changes like climate change and other sort of other sort of environmental factors. But but when the youth start uh, under coming there, then uh, cope up with those sort of things. Sunset as well. Beach. No. Sunset. Please uh, yes, yes. be careful with time also, okay, please. Yes, sir, I'm going to wrap up now. So what are the, there's a, here are the, some solutions that are uh, possible to, 
avoid the obstacle in food system of Italy. So first one is the reduction in the use of plastic based materials. So plastic based materials are being used rapidly these days. So reduction in the plastic based material can be a great way for the management of solid or plastic waste. And it can also be a great way for the uh, for the uh, reduction of soil pollution as well. And Second one is the consumption from the local producers. So when we start consuming from local producers, it will uh, it will help us to get uh, the local local and fresh products as well as it will also help to in improve the economy of the local farmers. And more severe and laws against the arsonist groups and these sort of illegal groups are uh, made in uh, countries like Italy, Greece, and these countries to preserve the forest system so yeah the promotion of local and organic food is really really important and the food that are uh, in which chemicals and pesticides are used that should be discouraged within the Italy next one sir so the transformation of food system is not uh, an impossible thing it's not like a big dream that cannot be achieved it is obviously possible if we all are responsible from our own side and if we all become responsible towards it. So here are the references that I used for my research. Next one, sir. So this one as well, Riff, this is also friends. Uh, next one. So last, I'd like to express my thank, greatest thanks to teacher Marie Bianchi for her great support. I'm really thankful towards her and Scrabble Club Pokra for this beautiful opportunity. And I'm really sorry for my inconvenience. Uh, and thank you, everyone. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you so much, Samsar. We are really happy to see you at last also. And your mentor says he's looking to you, right? We are just so pleased to make her happy. We're so happy. Thank you so much to you all. Uh, yes, all together, right? We have held our 20 delegates sign their presentations, all right? So now it's been already three hours more. We are three hours and 40 minutes. We are in our program. It's a long time, but we are here as to wrap up our program. So once again, thanks to our chief guest, Mr. Anil Kumar Sai, Ms. Navila Bishoraz Gautam sir, Alex Sula Bhattu sir, and all our advisor, executives, district uh, coordinators, international coordinators, and all our mentors, those they are still here, and all our delegates, they have very powerful, very brilliant, very wonderful presentations. You teach to us how to do research again. Okay? You are amazing. We are really proud with our all delegates. We are really happy. So with uh, having these remarks, from my side, still I have seen here all of our different uh, members of SPE, Mr. Baman Kumar Gimre, Vice Chair of SCP, Puna Rana sir, our treasurer, Amar Kumar sir, our friend, our member of SPC, and all those who are here till now to support our program, to encourage us, to you all, we are really proud we are so thank you all. We want this type of encouragement and your support in our upcoming program also. So without doing delay here, may I request to our jury for today, we have three right thanks to all our juries for their time. So Georgia, uh, Gloria, Yun, these two are here. So may I, Request to our uh, international coordinator of SCP, teacher from Greece, director of International Youth Society, Global Peace Educator in European countries, Georgia Monica, for your closing remarks and for uh, please. Hello, everyone. 
Thank you for this amazing introduction. Okay, um, I'm feeling so happy to uh, have uh, attended this amazing event for the second year. Um, first of all, I would like to congratulate all the presenters because despite the technical glitches they faced, they were there, they managed to present what they have prepared. I would also like to uh, congratulate and thank their mentors because they were patient and uh, helpful to their mentees. Um, this event is of great importance to everyone for the reasons that uh, students learn through authentic um, uh, tasks. Students collaborate, students meet people from all over the world, students acquire social skills, students acquire IT skills, uh, students learn how to act as delegates for other countries. We had people who started learning the language of that country they represented. And uh, students understand that English is not there just for them to get higher marks. It's there to help them um, interact and communicate with people all over the world. I would like uh, to uh, congratulate uh, Scrabble Club Pokhara and uh, Keshab and Vaman and uh, Purma and all the uh, people behind uh, uh, the stage, let's say. Uh, I would like um, uh, to thank you for the honor of having me as a jury member and I can't wait to attend uh, the future events. Thank you very much. Congratulations, uh, delegates. You were all amazing. And winners, all of you are winners, despite the, no matter what the result is, you are all winners. Remember that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zazia, for your wonderful remarks and encouragement to our delegates. Really wonderful. Now to conclude this program, with closing 